Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk a little bit about perception and reality. And we're going to talk about Russia and Star Wars and the GOP House, uh, Republicans in the House, and how they're perceived and how they can't really be surprised by the way they're perceived because we have a, a very uh, simple example that shows why the public views them the way they do. If you missed it, and you probably didn't because the beginning to this was like super sensationalized, but a the chair of the House Intel Committee, who is a Republican, basically raised the alarm and was like, there's a national security issue. We need to declassify stuff. We need a national conversation because it's important and destabilizing and blah, blah, blah. So this is from a high-ranking Republican House Intel Committee chair, so on and so forth. What did Speaker Johnson do in, in response? Like, how, how, what's the next thing that happened? We're going to go on vacation for two weeks. I mean, I don't get it. Are we supposed to be getting gas masks or sunglasses? Going to the beach? What, what's going on? There's mixed messaging. Okay. So, let, let's talk about that part first. What is it? The general consensus based on leaks, and please keep in mind this is early reporting based on information that has trickled out. This is not actually confirmed yet. Okay. It, uh, the idea is that it has to do with a space-based program from Russia that is nuclear. It is important to note that this could mean a, a nuclear-powered space-based initiative of some kind. Um, it may not necessarily mean a, a nuclear weapon. And it could have something to do, even if it was a nuclear weapon, it could also have something to do with taking out satellites and not actually dropping it. Um, so there's that as well. So that's, that's the information. That, that's, what's, that's what it appears they're talking about. Is this something to panic about? No, it's actually not. It, it, it isn't. Um, these... Programs have been known about by the intelligence community for quite some time. Maybe there is new information talking about how far along they are or when they plan to test it, something like that. Um, but this isn't actually like earth-shattering news. So Johnson is correct, right? No, not really. No. I mean, this is one of those things where, no, you really didn't need to raise an alarm about this. And I don't understand the idea of needing to declassify information to have a national conversation about it either. I'm fairly certain that the average person is not going to have an informed opinion on the spread of nuclear weapons into space or space-based warfare satellite-based warfare, any any of that. I, I don't think, this isn't something that, uh, you know, the average person is going to be able to contribute a lot to the conversation. Um, not when declassifying information might risk the sources and methods, means and methods, that, uh, that, that were used to obtain the information. That seems like a bad idea. But... Be that as it may, Johnson isn't right either. Because, yeah, sure, here is this topic being blown out of proportion. Fine, we're going to go on vacation. But also, no, not fine, because the country behind this that, you know, apparently wants to hang nukes over our heads in some way, um, they are currently fighting a war. And there's a country that is just hollowing out their military. And the, the funding that Russia has to commit to that war slows their groundbreaking technology or whatever. And there's the whole funding thing from the U.S. 
where Congress is, you know, being asked to fund American companies to produce stuff for the war in Ukraine and supply that aid. But I guess while Republicans are going to pretend it's a huge issue, like many things, they don't want to do anything about it because what they really want is the issue. They don't want to solve an issue because they need to scare people. They need to be able to issue that national alert and say something is scary because that's what it's about. It's about fear. This could be addressed. The Speaker of the House chose to go to recess instead. The funding for Ukraine it would help you know, kind of reduce the likelihood that whatever this technology is ever comes online because that funding requires Russia to match that funding, to continue to commit resources to a conflict that has been nothing but a national embarrassment for them. Or I guess, you know, they could go on recess instead. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.